Change the name. What can you do? The shapes of our lives. This program has been brought to you by Parallel Lines. Parallel lines are lines in the same plane that do not intersect. Thank you, Parallel Lines. Now let's go down to Grandpa Puppet and see if he has any shapes for us today. Yay! An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 but less than 180. A right angle is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. My mouth is also a right angle. There. Perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect to form a right angle. Skew lines are lines that do not intersect and are not on the same plane. What's wrong, Mr. Old Man? My hand's stuck in a cone. What's a cone? A cone is a circle and its interior, and the set of all segments joining an exterior point of the circle, such that the segments don't intersect except at that point. Oh, okay. Now I understand what a cone is. Yeah. Now I guess I can help you out. Okay. Because I wouldn't have been able to before because I didn't know what it was. Ow! Uh. Ow! Uh. Oh, yes! Yay! Thank you! We did it. High five! Yeah! Yeah! A frustum is a, a portion of a pyramid or a cone that lies between the base and a cross-section of the figure. This lampshade is also a cross thumb. Similar figures are figures that have the same shape but might differ in size. <laughs> Hey wizard, I saw you like my new car. Oh, yeah. I was about to paint it with yeah. my new cylinder of paint. A cylinder is formed by two congruent circular regions in parallel planes, and all segments join in circles that don't intersect with each other, or at any interior points. With this cylinder, I'll be able to paint my car in no time. No time. Oh wow, we'll be able to win the race for sure. A pentagon is a polygon having five sides and five interior angles. A hexagon is a polygon that has six sides. An octagon is a polygon having eight sides. Congruent figures are two or more figures that are congruent. Indubitably. A prism is a polyhedron in which two of the polygons are congruent and in parallel planes, and the remaining polygons are parallelograms. The triangle that we are looking at right now is a right triangle as well as an isosceles triangle. The definition of a right triangle is a triangle with a right angle. The definition of an isosceles triangle is a triangle with at least two sides congruent. An equilateral triangle is a triangle with all angles congruent. This triangle is also an acute triangle. An acute triangle is a triangle all of whose angles are acute angles. An obtuse triangle is a triangle with an obtuse angle. Wow, look at all those rectangles! Rectangle? Mm -hmm. What's a rectangle? Why, a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. Oh, 
I never knew that. Did you know concentric circles are two circles with the same center point? A pyramid is a polyhedron in which there is one base and all of the remaining faces are triangles. Hey dogs! Hey! Who's ready for the big sport game? Oh, I yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, man, what are we going to play with anywho? Well, <laughs> I was thinking we could use the sphere. Oh, a sphere? What's wow. a sphere? A sphere is in space the set of all points that are a given distance from a given point called the center. Oh man! That's extreme! Yeah. Alright guys, let's go! Go! Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> a hemisphere is one of the two congruent parts into which a great circle separates a given sphere Translation symmetry is a composite of two reflections over two parallel lines. A translation slides figures the same distance in the same direction. A reflection symmetry is a transformation that flips a figure over a line called the line of reflection. A rotation symmetry is transformation that is the composite of two reflections with respect to two intersecting lines. The intersection of the two lines is called the center of rotation. A sector is a region bounded by a central angle and the intercepted arc. A kite is a quadrilateral with exactly two distinct pairs of adjacent congruent sides. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has exactly one pair of parallel sides. This four square court represents a plane, a point, and a segment. A plane can be thought of as a flat surface that can extend indefinitely in all directions and it has no thickness. This will be represented by the whole entire four square court. A segment is a part of a line that consists of two points called endpoints and all the points in between them. This could be represented by the one of the two lines that you see in the four square court. Last is a point, and a point has no size, and in a figure, a point is represented by a dot. The point in the four-square court could be where the two lines meet, or anywhere else on the court. An arc is an unbroken part of a circle. Well, hey, wizard. Hey, Mike. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I'm just looking at some records. Oh, wow. That is exciting. Yeah. I love records. I love them because of the shape, too. I mean, oh, check yeah. it out. Do you know what shape it is? Um, I'm pretty sure it's a square. Really? What's a square? Well, it's very similar to a rectangle because it it's a quadrilateral with uh, four right angles, but it also has four congruent sides. Wow. Well, uh... Whew. I love squares, wizard. Mm -hmm. How would you pop this one in? Alrighty. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Hey, wizard! Heads up!
Did I see you with my frisbee? You just hit me with a set of all points in a plane that are a given distance from a given point in the plane. But you got a circle? Well, yeah, I guess it is. Yay! Okay. See you later. Bye. That's how he, that's the only way he can dance is going like that's this. Like Mega Man. Or going like this. Okay, my arm hurts. Carl, turn off now.